Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create a landing page for your courses. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to split this into two parts because I don't wanna make this way too long. So here is what we're gonna be doing in part one. So I'm gonna show you how to create this uh, main hero area. So this is the part which shows pretty much what our course is about. I have my description here, I have my title, I also have my benefits on here and then the price and then the button. So I show you how to create this step by step. I don't know if you can see this, but I have this image here in the background and it's only a slight hint of the image. This is adding our, to our design uh, by adding this image here because sometimes just having it all plain black doesn't really work well. So this is why I added that in the background. So I also show you how to do that. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do is to use the link in the video description below. And then if you send me a message on funnels to income.com on the bottom right, there's a chat bubble. You click on that and then send me your receipt number. And uh, once I verify that, I'll give you access to the course. Absolutely free. All right. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create this landing page for your online courses. All right, so the very first thing we need to do here is to go into our Divi Builder to start building our landing page. So I'm gonna come over here to Pages. So we can call this landing page whatever we want. So I'm just gonna call mine uh, Course Landing. Okay, so I've just add Course Landing, great. So all our designs here are going to be done in the Divi Builder. So I'm gonna click here on Use. Divi Builder, and then I'm gonna start designing everything from scratch. So what I'm gonna try and do here is this template here, I'm gonna try and make it universal so that you can use it for pretty much any type of course. All right, so I'm gonna click here on Build from Scratch. And the very first thing I need to do here is to add a single column. I'm gonna close that, and then next I'm gonna add two columns, okay? So that's gonna be our main hero area. The reason why I've added this single column here is because we need to go in and add our main title. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for text. So here I'm just gonna, in fact, let's use Lorem 2 because I like using Lorem 2 for my dummy text because typing takes me way, way too long. All right, so let's use this as our main heading. So I'm gonna come back over here and paste it in here, and then let's center it. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to center this text. And we might as well make it slightly bigger here. So I'm just gonna increase it a little bit, 18. I think that's fine. And if we need to, we can also make it all caps like that. And here we can change this from regular to semi-bold. So pretty much that's our sort of like introduction to our main heading. Next, it's also ideal to have a supporting text to our main heading. So let's add that. So again, this is gonna be a text module. I'm gonna select that. And uh, I'm gonna come over here to Lorem 2 and just create and just copy a paragraph. So usually this paragraph works as your description for your main course. So I'm gonna come over here and paste it. Again, so that everything looks consistent, I'm gonna center this. So I'm gonna come over here to my text and I'm going to center it. I'm also going to increase the size a little bit here to about 18. Now you can see that my text is now competing with my main headline. So what we need to do is to go back over here to our main heading and let's increase the size a bit more. So I'm gonna go in here and Let's increase this to about 24. That looks better. I'm gonna save that. Right, so over here now, this is where we can also add, you know, a few few things. So we can add, uh, let's say, text module. In fact, you know what? We can add some check marks of uh, the main benefits of the course. So to do that, we're going to need a blurb. So let's go ahead and add our blurb. Okay, so for now, we're gonna get rid of the image. So I'm gonna use an icon and here I'm gonna use a check mark. So let's go and find our check and here it is. I'm gonna select this one here. Now, the way it is right now is not correct. So I'm gonna come over here to image and icon and I am going to work on the placement and set it to the left. So as you can see now, uh, everything now is on the left and that looks much better. So icon font size, we're gonna reduce that because that looks quite big. So let's go with about 28. Now, when it comes to the title text, let's center it to the left. And 
And uh, the description text, to be honest, we don't really need that. So I'm going to come over here, go into my text area and remove the description text. So all we have now is the main heading and our icon. I may want to go in and reduce this icon a little bit. So let's bring this down to about 24. I think I'm happy with that. I am going to save this and then I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. So now that those become our benefits for taking this course. Now over here to the right, this is where I like adding a video. So this is a video that explains what co our course is about. So uh, we're gonna leave that as it is for now. So pretty much as you can see, our main hero area is really coming to shape. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to add some padding both to the top and the bottom here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna come over here to design spacing. And for our padding here on the top, let's start with 4VW. I'm going to add the same value to the bottom as well. And let's save and take a look. You know what? I've just nudged a little bit. Uh, let's have it at 6VW. Okay, so this is looking great. But you know what? This looks even better if it has a background image. So let's go ahead and look for an image that we can use for our background. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to go to pexels.com. So now this depends what course, what your course is about. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this course maybe an email marketing course. So um, I'm just going to search for, let's say, computers and let's see what comes out here. Ideally, I want someone who's behind a computer learning. Mm, should we go with this? No, maybe we could. Let's have a look and see if we have any more options. I think this one is a good one, actually. So let's go with that one. So I'm going to click here and I am going to go for the 1920 by 1280 and then click on download. So this is what I'm going to use here for my background image. So back over here now, I'm going to go into my section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to click on image. So we're going to add our image background now, and I'm just going to click upload files, and then I'm going to go to my downloads, double click on it, and open. There we go. So now it has been uploaded. I'm going to click upload an image, and there we can see it is added. Now, of course, this doesn't look great because it is just pretty much overpowering all the content that we have on our page. So what we need to do now is to dock in this image. And to do that, first of all, we need to come over here to our image blend and turn it to multiply. And then we're going to come over here to our first tab, which is the background. And this is where we're going to add our background uh, color. So what we're going to do next here is to just drag this slightly so we can have a hint of what is there in the background. So this is one way we can do this to just show a little bit of what's there in the background. Another way of doing this is to have a gradient that just pretty much goes across and fades into the other side. So I'm going to show you quickly how you can do that. So I'm going to go back in here, add transparency back on. Now let's add our gradient. So I'm going to add my first color here. It's going to be black. And my second color is going to be transparent. Next, we're going to change our direction, gradient direction to 90 degrees. So now you can see it's coming from the left. And so this is how you would do it. So I can adjust my start position here. And you can see most of the stuff on the left here is very, very dark. So here, instead of having um, this transparent, to be honest, I think we need to have a color here. Let's add a bit more so that we just have a hint of that image. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we want to make it easier for people to read our message here on our page. All right, so I'm gonna save that. And pretty much that's the design of our main, uh, main area. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my video and let's add an image overlay. And again, I can come over here and look for an image that would work great for our image overlay. So let's see what image we can use here. Let's go with this one here. I'm going to click here on download. And this one here doesn't have to be massive. So this can be 1280 by 853. So I'm going to download that. And I'm going to use this one here as my overlay image. Upload files. And this is my downloads folder as well. Click upload. So now this is going to act as my overlay image. Now, as you can see here, this 
button here is way too big. So let's go in and adjust that. So I'm gonna click here on play icon, and then I'm just gonna reduce this down to about, let's go with 52. I think 52 works great. All right, so now I'm gonna save this. And then next, I need to go back in here and work on my colors. So pretty much white is going to be the best here. So I'm going to go to design, text, and I'm going to change this to white. And to be honest, while I'm here, I'm just going to increase the size a little bit. And let's make it even bold. There we go. I think that looks much better now. Right. So I'm going to save that. And then next, I'm going to come over here, do the same, change my text here to white. Oops, what happened there? Okay, I'm in the wrong thing. I need to be here on the bottom. All right, so design, text, and then I'm going to change this to white. And while I'm here, I'm gonna increase my line height like that and save. Now, as you can see here, um, the more I look at this, I can see that my width is way too wide. So I wanna go in and change the width of my rows. So I'm gonna go in here by default, I know it's set to 80. So let's reduce it down to maybe even 64. I think that works okay. I'm gonna center that and save. I'm gonna do the same for this one here. Let's change it to 64. Click on sizing. And let's bring it down to about 64. And for my gutter width, anyway, I'll leave it at two and save. Now it's time to work on these blurbs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the, uh, the command key. So I'm going to do multi-select because I want to save time editing these. So as you can see, by holding down the command key, uh, I can select these all at the same time. And then I can go in now and make changes. And whatever changes I make here are going to be applied pretty much to everything. So I'm going to click here on design. And what I need to work on here is the text. So I'm going to change the color of my text. And you can see the color has been applied pretty much to all my text, which is fantastic. All right, so now that I have all these, that's looking great. I'm gonna leave this as it is, to be honest. I don't think that needs changing, but if you wanna change this icon, uh, you can, I mean, the colors and so on, you can just come over here and you know change the colors like that. And if you wanna change the icons themselves, themselves, you can come over here and choose you know a different icon to go with that. So let me see, I'll have a solid check mark there. I think that one looks much better. All right, so that's gonna be my solid check mark. And then I'm gonna save this. And then next, I'm going to add a button as our call to action. So um, I'm just gonna search for button here and select it. All right, great. So for this button now, what we need to do is to stylize it more. So let's, uh, let's say, by now. So this is going to be our buy now button. So I'm gonna click here on design button and use custom styles for button. All right, so now I can add my color of my button. In fact, my text needs to be white, but my background needs to be this dark orangey color. All right, so for our borders, let's see. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep my borders, I'm just gonna add that. And then for my font here, I'm gonna change this to Poppins. And we're gonna change this to Bold. And all caps is great. I really like the fact that it's all caps here. So pretty much my button is okay. I am going to now save this. Right, so the next stage is to add my price. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add a text module. Right, so for my price here, I'm gonna say, uh, 997, in fact, let's this be dollars, but of course you can add this in your own currency. And then I'm just gonna say now 497. So we're just pretending here the course is on offer. So I'm gonna add a strike through there. And then the new price, I'm gonna make it bold. And then let's stylize this by coming over here to our text. We're gonna change our color. I'm gonna make this big. I think 34 is fine. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to add some margins because this is way too close to my button here. So I'm gonna to go to spacing. So let's see if I add, there we go. So I think I'm gonna go with, let's go with 26 or maybe even 30. 
All right, so now we have a sufficient space here between the button and our main price. Now I'm gonna hit save. And pretty much this is really taking shape. I really like the way this looks now. I'm not sure about the image here, so, but anyway, this is something that you can go in and change. But for now, I'm gonna leave it as it is. In fact, I may need to do one more thing, and that is to go in here and give this some rounded corners. So I'm gonna go to border, and let's go with six for our rounded corners for our video here, and save. Now, I don't know why it does that, but uh, once you save this, uh, this should look much better. There we go. So now I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder, and we're just gonna take a quick look now at our main hero area. So this is going to be our main landing page for our course and pretty much this is how you create it in the next video i'm going to show you how to add the other sections to complete our main landing page so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because by subscribing you'll be notified when i release new tutorials and if you also have any questions you can leave your questions in the comments box below and i'll do my best to respond to your questions all right so i'll see you in the next video where we complete our landing page for our courses See you soon.